Sveiki visi, čia video man Karlo ir šiandien žaidžiu Life is Strange Before the Storm Jeigu fonė girdėsit mikrofono atraškėjimą, stengit vas ignoruoti, because I have a serious brain disease YouTube is his name, Tumblr Ok Tai geisim per epizodą 2, Brave New World Biškiai mažiau pizdavosios Nes dabar situacija nebūs ant tiek prasta kaip buvo originaliai Tai čia epizodė bus a lot of awkward moments Oh god Yep, it's still broken. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on, on a, a kidnap? <laughs> Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Yeah, like I'm junkyard. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Oh, good lord. Take him to Thomas Pratham. What's wrong with your fingers? Jesus Christ. Quadratish. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, nah, not really. What? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh... That agreement... Uh, is that rhetorical? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. Mission impossible. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. She kidnapped me. Victoria Chase. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> Fuck that. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? 
The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> Fuck you. The hell I was. I stood up for that little yeah. girl. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Colmel's sure small. And let's try that. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Mm. Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? What? Yeah. what? What? Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. What the fuck was that hand job, Jeff? <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Is she a fucking kibber? Yeah, fine. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. <laughs> we were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or- Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel- Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Yeah, I'm sure. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. 
Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant, first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Ooh. No. Ah, boy. Performance is huh? Okay. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Ooh. How Fish. fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... was that, Miss Price? Bullshit. Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. Hell yeah. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Go la. Yeah, right. Pirmas variantas, man, we should make some kicklas. Antras variantas. Ne. Pirmas variantas, man, we should make some kicklas. I don't know what this will be the consequence. Antras variantas, man, we should make some kicklas. Yeah. Is my background. Uh, this is uh, like we're gonna spend a lot of time with Rachel. So, if I do the dick work, so it's gonna be very awkward. And if I. Well, screw it, Miss Stick. I'm sure I'll be busy with Mr. Shudas. Skloyas lenkimo, čia nu šviet. Dabar reiks laimėt. Holy fuck. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! You seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Hell yeah. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? She's an actor. I confess to thinking she can act like a... Motherfucker, you just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. 
You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Przepraszam, tak szarwa, ale jest jak buty już masz. Szulnaste. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I I'll see you in the parking lot. Oh god, the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Yeah, Skip is fucking cool. Hey, uh, just wanted to say, it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. <laughs> I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. You have weed. Okay. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no. No, I'm sick. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Yeah. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Then almost. <laughs> look. Oh, look. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh, oh well. The raven. The anarchy. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Bro, it's this. Time's no, I promise. <laughs> you have fucking weed. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you?
Insur Insur I can't read I'm stupid Oh my god You retard Matter of choice Oh my god You retard Why doing that Oh no Don't do that Why are you doing? You broke that. You don't have money. Roll hell. What the fuck is roll hell? Stop it. Get some help, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know Trečia ar nebūtų išmetu iš šulės, aš ir nebūčiau įkintės tas. Tam kaip jūs būsų sveikas. Elf Barbarian. Oh my god. Tai skipas per tave gali darbą netek. Vėl varmą. Skipai pizdavlė. Oh no. That bitch. No. Then... Oh good lord. Tokio. Tas rūtas, kad nebūtų išmesti iš Black Valo. Jo. Nes dabar čia jau kainuosi skipo į darbą. Later, skip. Turėtų vai. Later. O, ne. Tai jau nebūtų net. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Ok, what do we got? Well, blows. That meeting hella sucked. You are hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. It wasn't the kidnapping. Drugs are free here. Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? I gotta face my mom at some point. Nah, we can't. Might as well be now. Okay, let's uh... What's that? Max would've loved this shit. Okay. What do we got? Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Who's that? But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. This pot. Oh god. Just ignore him. Old person. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. It's about damn time. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Mm. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? 
That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Why not? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Gadgets. I'm like, look, just little bit of random. Okay. Fine. You want to see my shit we so badly? We have weed. It's gonna end up it. We have weed in buckets. A lot of weed. And weed. And weed. And uh, weed. Where's weed? And the weed is here. Ooh, weed! Oh no, the horror. Happy? It's marijuana, all right. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Dun dun dun. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Anger. You're trying, I get it. You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Sau de gâna pe lecă în bagajină. Hey! 
There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home oh, no, as soon as her backward. tantrum is no. over. No. Fuck off. Yeah. Thank God. Ir manau šiam epizodu pakaks. Čia buvo video man Karlo ir tiksim kitam video. Bye, peace out.